pageant patrons, how many scandals does it take before someone says enough is enough? Between last year and this year, I can't even keep up with the number of scandals there have been in the Miss Universe pageant. Now, I was sent a video today where Michelle D. says, and let me quote, I guess I did feel very uncomfortable with how she was addressing the supporters. We all know what that is in reference to. That is when, when Anne, the owner of Miss Universe, was talking in Thai and she just she used the term move on, move on. But my concern is Michelle D, she states, I felt very uncomfortable. I thought the Miss Universe organization was an organization by women for women. Before I continue, take a look, listen at this. Last year's competition was marred by allegations that its Miss Universe subsidiary pageant was rigged in favor of Arbany Gabriel, a black woman, in a case of racial bias designed to produce a non-white winner. Another contest, Miss Bolivia, was dethroned and removed from the pageant after publicly disparaging her competitors' looks. A year earlier, a Miss USA vice president was removed from the organization after mo multiple former contestants accused him of sexual harassment. Still, more contestants have complained about bullying and body shaming, a JKN requirement that national subsidiaries bid for the right to select their country's candidates for Miss Universe has backfired, with several of the national organizations cutting ties with the parent organization. The decision to host this year's pageant in El Salvador, which spent $12 million for the pageant rights and another $60 million on supporting infrastructure, has been criticized amid the country's economic woes and political crisis. The last Miss Universe pageant held there in 1975 sparked deadly protests. So to my pageant patron that sent me this, hopefully this will be the last time I have to address this issue. But here's what I have to say. There's sort of an old saying that says all publicity is good publicity. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad. As long as they're talking about you, then you stay in the forefront of people's minds. There's been too many scandals in the Miss Universe organization, but do you believe that part of it is because they need this infusion of cash? El Salvador spent $12 million for the pageant rights, and they also spent $60 million on infrastructure. Now, when they hosted, El Salvador hosted it in 1975, there was this huge backlash and people were getting arrested outside the venue. This year, they had people getting arrested before it started. I believe some 300 people got arrested. There are some human rights violations that are going on. So again, it seems like the Miss Universe pageant is being used as a political pawn. First, you have the whole transgender thing. Then you have all of the different scandals. Now, mind you, I found that article just today. So it has those scandals, but those are previous scandals. Not to mention the scandals that happened this year. I talked about those in a previous, in a previous video. So at some point, when does the Miss Universe pageant become a credible organization again? Because right now, there's a lot of grandstanding going on. There's a lot of political moving going on. So my so I I kind of I kind of believe that maybe that is why Mexico is going to host next year. Here's an, here's why I say that. For Telemundo, who uh, and Telemundo um, uh, showed the Miss Universe pageant because and there was no one here in the United in in the U.S. except Telemundo to sh to to show it. There were 122 million engagements across all platforms. 122 million engagements. They had almost, they had an average of almost 200, two and a half million viewers to watch the show. Almost two and a half million people watched the show. But when you include all of the other platforms, all the digital media and all of that, they had 122 million engagements. That by itself is huge. 
But the drawback of all of that, you have all of these scandals which make people, which, which make women not want to be involved in this organization. And then on top of that, you have no male judges. So I have absolutely no clue what they're doing. So one of the things that they need to do is one, I think some new leadership needs to take place. Either the owner needs to give up or needs to hire some credible people. So uh, I, I don't I don't really see how the pageant is going to progress credibly without some, uh, without a different direction. There's already about four or five countries that have pulled out. There are several more countries that did not even send a delegate this year. I, I believe there were 84 delegates this year because the drama is not worth it. When you consider the bullying and, and all of that that is going on and people not feeling safe, women, I'm sorry, women not feeling safe, why would they want to participate in the Miss Universe organization? So one, how do we correct that? One, I just said new leadership. Two, I think they need to bring back male judges. And they said men are ogling the women. If all they do is simply judge on that night, if they are competent in whatever you know, judges are supposed to be competent in, why not have them to judge? Then that balances out. Because you know, let's face it, men and women, we think differently. So we're going to so we're going to see things differently. So you I think you have to bring that male perspective back to the pageant. And the last thing to sort of help the Miss Universe pageant is you've got to recreate that organization. You've got to create fertile ground. You've got to get all of the BS, the bull out of the way so that women feel comfortable going into the organization. But all of that, none of that is going to happen until you have new leadership. So to my pageant patron that sent that, I hope this answers your question. Uh, I kind of want to kind of want to start studying something else. So I, I hope this answers your question. If I didn't, let me know. I'll be more than happy to to try it again. But those those are just my three recommendations. So as always, you guys take care. This is Isaac. Peace out.